Well, hello, good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Jiu Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm back. I hope you guys are doing fantastic out there. I've got an interesting video for you today. We're going to talk about the Blue Eddy 200 watt monocrystalline solar panel. This is model PV200. Now, the current MSRP on this panel is $499. However, at the time of me filming right now, you can pick this panel up for $469. This is a 200 watt monocrystalline panel. It's durable. It comes with MC4 connectors, which will fit most solar generators on the market. And if you have a solar generator that does not fit an MC4, as you'll see in this video, I'll show you my little adapter and it'll, it'll definitely accommodate just about any solar generator. Now the cool thing about the solar generators is when you purchase them, they generally come with whatever connectors that you need to hook them up to a solar panel. Not all of them, but most of them do. Now this is a foldable and portable unit. Now this panel has snaps on the legs, which allows you to change the angle of the solar panel so you can get the most out of the sunlight. Now, as you can see, this unit folds out with four pieces, so it's got four. Now, this panel also is, is compatible with many Blue Eddy solar generators. So there's a look at the panel, and if you look real close, you'll see that it has kind of a textured look to it. So it's almost like a honeycomb or something. It's very cool looking. And then if you come up here, you'll notice that the handle is very solid it's a very nice hard plastic handle so this unit is built like really solid so there are the legs they have really nice velcro and the nylon webbing is really nice these zippers are water resistant so they'll help keep water out of this area and then when you open the pouch you can see the junction box has a really thick wire. This is really thick. Really heavily insulated. And then you get to the end and it has MC4 connectors. And that's where it stops with the solar panel. Everything past this is stuff that I've added. And that is this little adapter here. And this will fit just about all of your standard solar generators. You got Anderson 5.5 by 2.1, 8 millimeter, and I forget what this one's called, but it's pretty popular. Now looking at the side of the panel here, you see all the technical details are listed. And then to keep the panel shut, it does come with these little slide release buckles with nylon straps. So it's pretty nice. You can adjust them and tighten it up and keep this thing shut nice and tight. Keep it closed. So it's pretty nice. Just push there with your thumb right in the middle and it just disconnects. It's very effective. You could do it with the one-handed operation. So right now we're looking at some of the technical details that are printed right on the panel. Model PV200, 200 watts peak power. The solar cells are monocrystalline. And that's really good because in cloudy weather and stuff like that, these panels will still produce energy. Solar cell lamination is ETFE, uh, very nice. The cell efficiency is up to 23.4%. Um, this is your voltage at max power, 20.5 volts. Current at max power, 9.7 amps. Open circuit voltage is 26.1 volt and then your short circuit current is 10.3 amps and then the operating temperature of this panel is minus 10 degrees centigrade to 65 degrees centigrade and if you want to convert that into Fahrenheit that is 14 degrees Fahrenheit all the way up to 149 degrees Fahrenheit. You can see that this panel is made in China but there's a few more specifications and details that I want to talk about. The best working temperature for a panel like this is 25 degrees centigrade and that's about 77 degrees Fahrenheit. And this panel folds out into four different folds. So there's four sections, basically 50 watts times four. 
Uh, the folded dimensions are 590 millimeters by 630 millimeters, or if you want to talk about that in inches, that's 23.2 inches by 24.8 inches, as you see it right here folded. And then when you unfold it, the dimensions change, obviously, 590 millimeters by 2265 millimeters. And if you want to do that by inches, that's 23.2 inches by 89.2 inches. So this thing does get very large. The weight of this unit is 7.3 kilograms or 16.1 pounds. It's not a light unit, but it's very, very nice. And it does come with a 24 month warranty. So two years is the warranty on this panel. So here we are looking at the Blue Eddy. 200 watt monocrystalline solar panel. This is model PV200. These legs give you the opportunity to change these based on whatever angle you want to put the leg at. I just have them set right here. That's about 45 degrees. And I think that's a fantastic system that they have on these. When you purchase the panel, it comes with a couple things here. The first thing that you see here is the Blue Eddy warranty card. So it comes with that. Flip that over, and again, like I mentioned a second ago, it's a two-year warranty. The next thing that you'll see is the user's guide. So it's a very nice user's guide, very basic user's guide, but it gets down to business. Right here is a chart with all those specifications that I just read to you, the technical details of this panel. Here are some safety tips about this panel. Talks a little bit there at the bottom about the warranty. Here are the units that are compatible with this solar panel. And here is some questions and answers, so feel free to pause your screen if there's anything there that you wish to hang on to or read a little bit longer. And right here, there is some information on how you can get a hold of Blue Eddy. And then on the back, we basically have the same thing, but it's in different languages. We're going to take this 8mm and we're going to plug it into this Blue Eddy EB150 and see what kind of input we get. So as you can see right now, the fan kicks up. You can hear the fan running and we're already at 156 watts of input. 160, 161. That is remarkable to get out of this solar panel. 161 watts of input. That is absolutely fantastic. A few minutes ago, I was getting 185. So this solar panel does a wonderful job at charging these Blue Eddy solar generators. Again, this is model EB150. This webbing that they used is really solid webbing and I love the simplicity of adjusting just these little snaps to change the orientation of these feet, these legs. Very nice work that they did here and I like the width of these legs. They're nice and wide so they're stable at holding this panel up very well. So I'm still charging away, but I wanted to take a quick minute and take a close look at this ETFE laminated solar panel. So I love this because it's really durable. It's scratch resistant. It's water resistant. You could spray water from this in any direction and it's going to be just fine. So this panel is built very well. And it's cool to the touch. It's not hot right now. I'm also still bringing in 163 watts. So that's very impressive. So one of the interesting thoughts that comes to mind right now while I'm charging is that most of your solar generators have passed through charging. So for example, I could be running my laptop, which draws roughly a hundred watts and still be charging at 63 watts so I could be running my laptop for free basically and still be charging so these numbers that this panel produces are absolutely fantastic now I played kind of a game a second ago and I took my hand and I shaded the panel 
and the wattage input dropped to 127 is what I'm seeing right now and then I, I use both hands and it jumps up to 131 <laughs> so this panel uh, works really good even when it's shaded I wish they would have put grommets on the corners so you could hang this thing out maybe on the side of a van or something like that if you needed to. Another thing comes to mind and that is the fact that we saw that this solar panel comes standard from the factory with MC4 connectors. That means that we can use this in a more versatile way. We can use this panel to hook up in a traditional sense. So we could take those MC4s, run them into a charge controller, and run that charge controller into a battery. Of course, make your connections on the battery to the charge controller first, and then connect to your solar panel as we've discussed in previous solar uh, setup videos. But you could use this in that sense. So this thing is very, very versatile at what it can do. Now I wouldn't suggest leaving this thing out exposed to the elements 24-7, if you want a panel that can do that, I'd recommend a rigid solar panel. But this will definitely, you know, be useful in a way that is very spontaneous. So you're going to be out, you notice the weather's great, you can pull this out, cut it in. It takes, you know, a couple seconds to cut it in. And now you've just really accelerated your solar input. When you're finished charging, taking this solar panel down is extremely simple. Just like that, I'm ready to get out of here. We'll see you later. for the camera. <sighs> Thanks for watching. <laughs>